Hey guys, welcome back to Farmcraft. So uh, I'm going to do a little experiment today, uh, combining a couple different things. This is a giant piece of rebar. That's one inch rebar. And I want to turn something long and see how it does as far as taper and just, just see how the thing handles it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this piece of rebar into a bolt. It's going to be a big ass bolt. The other thing I want to experiment with is I want to put a head on it. So I'm going to use my, my forge, I'm going to heat this end up and I'm going to upset it to increase the diameter so that I can actually make a proper bolt head uh, even though my stock isn't wide enough to do that. So first thing I got to do is uh, upset the end of this to get ready for the bolt head. So getting this uh, big piece of steel to upset is harder than I've... I've never done a one-inch piece like this before. So this is what I've come up with. I've got a couple ratchet straps that I'm holding it with so that I can uh, use the sledgehammer uh, because my three and a half pound is just not, not doing it. I'm at about an inch and a quarter right here. The dimension of the, the rebar, once you take the ridges off, is about three quarter. I think I've got enough, so we're gonna give it a go as it is. Turned it nice and straight. So now the test of a lathe, when you're turning something this long, is how does it measure? In other words, how much taper is it? How uniform is this piece in its full length? So right here, I've got 810 thousandths. And I've got 809 thousandths there. 
I've got 810 there. I'm 27, well, actually 28 inches between my centers. To be within a thousandth or two, well, really, it's within a thousandth. Uh, I'm happy with that. All right, we're ready to do some threading. I've got my compound set at 29 and a half degrees. I've got my 60 degree thread cutting tool set square to the work. And I'm going to thread it at 10 threads per inch. Now, this is going to end up being an oddball uh, a size. There's, you're not going to be able to buy a nut to fit this. So later, I'm going to make a nut that will go on here. Because uh, this thing is, is 809 thousandths, so it's not three quarters, it's not seven eighths rod, whatever, it's, it's an unusual size, and then I'm threading it at 10 TPI. Alright, let's cut a thread. called single point threading. How does this work? Well, I've got a, a series of gears inside of here. Obviously there's a motor driving the headstock. And when I adjust these dials, I'm picking different gear ratios that determine how fast this screw right here is going to spin. So there's a fixed ratio between the, the rate of spin of that and that. Well, that's actually what's driving uh, this here, which is uh, my carriage. Uh, it is being driven. When I engage this, it is engaging the threads on that screw. And the RPM uh, of that screw determines how fast that is going to move. Well, right now, it's set so that for every 10 turns of this headstock, this carriage is going to move one inch. And that's going to give me 10 threads per inch. Now, obviously, if I change these gears, I get different thread ratios. And that's what all these uh, very confusing looking, but they're not actually confusing things are. This is for threading right here. So, 10 threads per inch, I need to be set on B, D, 1, V. And if you look down here, I've got B, D, 1, V. And it's that simple. Right now I'm taking about five thousandths uh, per pass. So my bolt head finished is actually wider than the ribs on this. So yeah, that's pretty cool. As a proof of concept, I can make a uh, bolt shoulder just by upsetting. Uh, but I'm going to use this little piece of, that I cut off uh, to make a nut. And uh, I'm going to use my press to upset this one. So let's see how that goes.
so it's a little bit uh, egg shaped. The short dimension, 1.63. Say 1.6. Remember, this is 0.8. So I am twice as wide as the bar. So I, I should be able to make a good nut out of that. So what would I use a bolt like this for? I've got just the thing. What, you think that's overkill? <laughs> 